In today's health segment, our special guest is a lady who's fast becoming a national advocate for holistic and balanced living. First known as an Oscar-nominated actor who began her career at the young age of just 13. She's made more than 30 films and TV appearances. She's not only been an actor and model, she's also written three books, each focusing on different areas of healthy living. Joining us now from Los Angeles is Mariel Hemingway. Mariel, welcome to The Balancing Act. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's fun to be here. Let me ask you, your first book focused on yoga and meditation, great stuff. Your second shared healthy lifestyle techniques. Now your third and most recent release called Mariel's Kitchen shares healthy, tasty, easy to prepare recipes, plus some additional great tips. Now we know you have a talent for writing because it runs in the family as you are the granddaughter of the late great author Ernest Hemingway. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm very careful. I'm writing self-help books because I'm not quite ready to jump into the to the fiction, <laughs> but uh, I'm playing it safe right now. Right, well maybe one day. You know, many people think eating healthy is difficult and time consuming. I hear it all the time, but really you make it easy. You know, the whole thing around health and, and food and becoming more fit and, 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 and um, focusing on a healthier lifestyle, people sort of think that's drudgery and that it's painful and it won't taste good and I have no, you know, no more fun happens in my life. And I think it's just the opposite. I think being healthy and eating, you know, nutritious food and and living a healthy lifestyle should be the most fun that you have in your life. Well said. I always stress the importance of eating a healthy breakfast to jumpstart your body each day. And I've read that you agree with that. One of the first things that I tell people when they want to change, you know, they say, oh, I, I want to change the way I eat, but I don't know where to start. And I say, look, um, start with your breakfast, change your breakfast, do one good breakfast. So in, in the book, there are, there are many suggestions. There's smoothies that you can make. I have eggs and greens. I have um, green pancakes, spinach pancakes that don't taste bad. They taste actually fabulous. There's gluten-free waffles and pancakes. There's all kinds of really good choices that are easy to make. Sounds great. Let me ask you, many people think eating healthy means having to skip dessert. Oh, no. Absolutely not. I think that dessert one it should be, you know, one of the great things that you should never have to give up. And in fact, I have one recipe that I really love. It's called a bliscuit, which is a gluten-free, sugar-free cookie. Each ingredient for the cookies is actually something very good for you. You get the fiber and you get the protein, you know, natural organic protein from the almond meal. There's uh, whey protein in there, which is actually great for the immune system. There's cinnamon that boosts, boosts the metabolism. Um, coconut oil, which is a really good raw fat that's very very, very healthy for you. So each item or each ingredient is really nutritious, really fills the cells, and yet it tastes really good. So talk to us a little bit about the connection that you find between stress and depression and the chemicals, hormones, and artificial ingredients found in food. There are seven suicides in my family. My my, not only my grandfather, Ernest Hemingway, killed himself, his father, my grandmother's father, my great uncle, my uncle, and my sister committed suicide. So there was a tremendous reason for me to really focus on lifestyle and how was I going to prevent the you know, passing that on to my own family. And I really realized that there was a chemical connection to how we eat and how we live our lives and, and, and depression and, and stress, obviously. So I have, you know, I suffered, when I was a big caffeine addict and ate a lot more sugar, sugar I suffered a great deal from depression actually back then. So Mariel, you're actually comfortable saying that you use foods to fight your depression? Oh, absolutely. I, I am very comfortable telling people that my lifestyle has prevented me from having a genetic um, imprint or a genetic reaction to to depression. I mean, I got rid of it through my food and lifestyle. I've never taken any um, psychotropic drugs or, you know, Prozac or whatever it is that people battle, you know, use to battle depression. And I'm not saying that some people don't need, you know, outside help and may, may need chemical help, but my, for my personal body and for my mind and for my sense of well-being, I used food. I used food and lifestyle as my treatment, and I don't suffer from depression at all anymore. Now, when people hear about eating organic, the perception out there is it's too expensive, it's time consuming and it's not easy and it doesn't taste so good but you actually say that's not true to all the above well first of all Mariel's kitchen is about good food tasting great 
it should taste great and again it should be easy often people will say it's so expensive you know biodynamic organic sustainable it's so much more expensive my my argument to that it's a lot more expensive to get sick very well said Mariel thank you for being here today very enlightening well thank you so much for having me it was great talking to you well for those of you wanting more information about Mariel's books and recipes just go to MarielHemingway.com and I will see you soon with more tips for living a healthier life. Today's My Health segment brought to you by Choose for Health, the world's first super fruit, sea vegetable, antioxidant, chewable dietary supplement.